All right, guys, for this episode of Julie Stewart Drinks, we are down in the Lower East Side at a Prohibition style speakeasy, and I had to employ none other than the cocktail guy himself from BarstoolSports.com is Keith K. Marco. You know him. He's always Instagramming different cocktails every night. Keith, your initial hey, thoughts. K. Marco drinks. I feel like you're kind of infringing on my brand <laughs> with this whole series. What are your thoughts about being at the speakeasy right now? Um, it's the back room. I've been here before. I have been politely asked to leave before. Uh, more about that when we get inside. But the bar itself is super cool. This entrance right here is like so unique. You won't see it anywhere else. Where do we go? This door is normally closed, which makes it more confusing. And another door. All right. There you go. We're at the bar, we made it through the twists and turns of outside into the speakeasy, and now we are here with bartender Aria, who is going to show us what makes this place special. Everything comes in teacups. These drinks will look like tea once they're done. Strong tea, that is. Is that to like hide it? So no one can tell it's alcohol? That's the idea. For you guys today, we're gonna go with the Sazerac. Um, it's a quintessential American cocktail, argued to be one of the first, in my opinion, one of the best, and that's where we're gonna take it. Little known fact, I'm kind of the old-fashioned guy. People know me as the old-fashioned guy. Mm -hmm. When I need a backup drink, my second favorite, do you know what it is? It's a no. Sazerac. All right. You need a shot? Yeah, sure. All right, cheers. Cheers. Absinthe shot. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was really good. Two backroom Sazeracs. Yes. Thanks a lot. Cheers. cheers. Really. Yeah, that's great. Like it. <laughs> it's good. It's tasty. It's fantastic. So no one like chugs these things, right? They just like sit, it's like classy. I mean, there's chugging involved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, there's chugging involved. People yeah. fucking puke on themselves and then come and ask for more drinks. <laughs> I, I swear to God, a woman urinated at the at, 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 in the bar like <laughs> a couple weeks ago. I'll tell you what. S slight criticism. This is a very cool idea. This would get annoying to me after like, it's annoying right yeah. now, so two minutes. Yeah, I feel like I would, I would know what to do with this. But since we're not sloppy, we'll be classy and walk around. There's obviously naked ladies everywhere. I feel like Francis would like love this here. <laughs> a little piano to play. That's cool. It's like you said you put a quarter in and you like see tits or something. And I was like, nice tits. Oh, well, look at this. Isn't this nice? Service. Yeah. Again. Cheers. What do you think of this place as a as a potential date spot? Um, well, if I was to ever go on a date, I'm sure that this would be it's really sad. somewhere we could maybe go. So the only time I've been here, I didn't mention this before because I didn't want to start off on the wrong foot, but I was uh, ejected from the premises. And I was leaning like this on the railing, and the bouncer told me, please don't lean on the railing. And then I accidentally leaned on the railing again, and the bouncer, he grabbed me, and he asked me to leave very politely, but very forcibly. That's like the most lame way to get kicked out of a bar ever. All right, guys, so one Sazerac, a shot of absinthe, a beer. Keith, that what do you think? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Julie. I'm a little drunk right now. Uh, I'm man enough to admit that. That Sazerac, I wasn't lying for the sake of, of his confidence. That was the best Sazerac I've ever had. I gave it an A minus. Wow, A minus, that's very yeah. high. There's no frills, it's like prohibition. You're gonna get this, you're gonna get that. I do like that it's unique, that I can tell my friends, hey, let's go here, and we're gonna do that. And uh, that's New York. He, he made a conscious decision <laughs> to walk in that path because he was pissed, and I respect that. So, um, you know what? I do think A minus might be a little bit high, but I think that I would give it like a B plus plus. 